सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुमसाशम काशपेय महाज्युति तमोरी सर्वपापन प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्ति हस्तम तम मंगल प्रणमा हम प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेण प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणो बुधम प्रणमा हम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्रणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्चर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिकागर्भ संभूत तम राहुम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोर तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओ शि 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 ओं दर्स ना वी रीच in a very speedy tone i apologize for that but it's a 61 slide presentation we are going to start the shani type related the saturn type 8 anurada here opra um general presentation about opra see that opra is currently 2021 to 2008 to think 2028 on her seventh karmic period and here also her presentation in the opera's case i there was not it was not possible to do so specific like that with wikipedia doing the splitting so here the symbols are uh, relating um first uh when she was still on mercury second period then on Ketu on third karmic period, then in fourth with Venus, then in fifth with uh, Sun, where she hosted a rare prime interview with Michael Jackson. Okay, and this is also going to be important when we speak about Einstein. When we reach the fifth karmic period and we attain the Hall of Fame, this is a concept that it's quite easy to understand. If you put your hands or your feet in the Hall of Fame in the fifth karmic period, usually you have to ask yourself: Is it going to be worthful to continue on the sixth karmic period with that success? Okay, and this can be you as a president of a company. This is, can be when a place in the sixth karmic period. we should be starting to send energy for the next generation i mean the role the appropriate role for people that are currently in the sixth karmic period doesn't matter if it's a celebrity or not is to say am i helping the other the next generation to be well trained in the sixth, sixth karmic period we can still be working but we should be working with these glasses with this perspective 
I'm helping the next generation to be ready to absorb my knowledge, my wisdom, my life experience, and I'm helping them to raise. That is the rule of the sixth karmic period. That is ought to be, okay? And this is a wisdom that it's on the cultural level. This is what this culture is proposing for us to do with our life. If you don't agree, you just don't follow. <laughs> as simple as that. But if this makes sense, you try with your life and you see how, how well you can attain Santosha, how well you can attain inner conformity with time. And being with inner conformity with time doesn't matter if you are Krishna as Arjuna charioteer or if you are king of Dwarka or you if as a Gopala or a Govinda, as we spoke in the previous session. Every time has one name, one epithet that you should be developing a personality to fit to that karmic period. Okay? For example, in my case, I'm now uh, finishing my fourth karmic period. In my uh, third karmic period, Tiago Namaste was born. But in the second karmic period, the economist, that it's a junction between economist and ecologist, was the personality that was fitted for my son Mahadasha. When it started the moon period in my life, it was, it was increasingly difficult to stand for that, for that economist. And the Chago Namaste, for my surprise, I still did not know George at that time, but looking backwards, it makes sense. It started to push ahead and say, look, economist is out of time. Now, a new facet is coming, for example. Now I'm finishing my fourth karmic period and I'm going to my fifth karmic period. I will say, and this is a strong affirmation, because I'm changing into my Rahu Mahadasha, Divya is supporting me. If I was not changing into my fifth karma dasha, Divya could still be feeling that, oh, he's a great person and so, but things happen in our life, okay? I'm studying with people from United States and India for the past three, four years. But now it's the time because my Rahu period is coming. My presence in English is much more easier than I was for the past 10 years, okay? So we need to understand the role of time. My wife said to me, look, you should be teaching Ayurveda for those people that already know Ayurveda. And I said to her, I have already tried that. When I finish my Rahu period, I will be with enough white hairs in my head <laughs> so that people spontaneously will, have, will want to have classes with me. Of course, that I'm going to be, what, 55. But it's not the time that I'm acknowledged as Ayurvedic teacher, a leading Ayurvedic teacher in Brazil, okay? So when we understand those large frames, I can be, I want to be recognized as Ayurvedic teacher in Brazil, people are not recognizing me, or I can be, look, I'm not in the time for that, okay? And this can create a kind of a patience, but also wisdom. To understand when to leave some roles. In my case, when I went from my third karmic period to the fourth, I'm going more personal now because I would like that this is also not only about celebrities. Okay. When I went through my fourth, from my fourth karmic period to my fifth, I had to leave my work mainly as a muscle therapist. I moved from Rio de Janeiro to Ubatuba, Sao Paulo, and so, and it was very hard to me to leave that, that paper, that role, okay? So when we understand that we are a karmic agency within a karmic river, 
And from time to time, we change rivers and we get to be aware that we are changing river. Doesn't matter if you are now living in Spain, you are not. Doesn't matter if you moved from India to United States or whatever. You understand? Now the flow of karma has changed. And the same way of swimming is not necessarily going to, or paddling or whatever, is going to be the appropriate for that scenario. Now, going back to Oprah. Okay, so there are some things here that are quite interesting about opera, uh, her action on radio. It's mainly related to the sun period. Her action during the film period was mainly related to her Venus period. In the case of opera, we can see her, uh, her, her um, unfolding as when she started to do television, when she started to do uh, radio or more films and so, okay? And here we can see that from 87, that is the starting of Venus period, to nine, uh, 2005, a lot of her natural, easy recognition as a uh, hosting interviews was in a specific karmic period, the Venus Mahadashi. There is a question here. Is the first karmic period personal to each individual or is there is a set number of each Mahadashas? Hi, Jennifer. Namaste. The first karmic period is related to where your moon is in your chart. And this can happen without being in the beginning of that period, okay? In those slides, there's always the attention there to, to, to see well, how much is left. Let me put here to make it easier, okay? Let's go for Albert Einstein example. So this is just general, taken from the uh, previous presentation. And here, please, Jennifer. The, Buddha period here is going to be 17 years. If you see from 72 to 89, it's 17 periods. But his starting point, 79, is going to be 58% left of those 19 years from March 14, 8, 79 up to um, 4th of, in English is March 4th, uh, 89. Okay, and this is because his moon is in 22 degrees of Vrishika, and uh, this nakshatra starts on 16 degrees 40, and from 16, 16, 40, for example, if Albert Einstein here was with his moon on 16 degrees and 40 of Scorpio, he would be starting, this 72 here would be on 79, so he would be with this 100% left. I'm not so sure that I did answer you somehow, <laughs> but uh, we are going to discuss this in a more specific manner in the course. Malaya, sorry about the delay here. Is it harmful to do this before the sixth karmic period? Uh, what do you mean? Go for retirement or uh, giving information for other people or making this transition? The fifth karmic period, tell me. Yes, good morning, Tiaga. Thank you. Or actually, I don't know if it's morning for you, but <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so when you mentioned preparing the next generations um, and and giving information and 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 educating about, you know, um, I guess things that you know, um, as opposed to pursuing uh, wealth and fame in the career, <laughs> um, is is um, is what are the ramifications of 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 doing that of of doing something maybe earlier before the sixth karmic period if you're not the there fifth yet karmic period can be anything at all if your fifth karmic period is building a house or a transition or um transmitting a knowledge for the next generation doesn't matter it makes sense for you it's a thing that you can say 
if I if I die tomorrow, at least I have accomplished this. So the fifth karmic period is just like uh, what is the name for that in English? There is that card, the Joker. Okay, that you can put everywhere. So for you, the fifth karmic period can be transmitting knowledge for other people, and this doesn't have to wait the sixth karmic period. Understand? I do. Thank you so much. Okay. But the fifth karmic period has to have this sensation. If I die tomorrow, at least I have accomplished this. Thank God. In the sense that it was not a meaningless or a lacking sense, a, a strong lacking sensation. Okay, Maria? Yes. I Yes. Thank you very much. Good. And sorry about the seeing this in the chat. Now, Albert Einstein. He Om Gurave Namah Om Gurave Namah Om 